to the chosen, and that the chosen are commanded to build ships and to gather up food, which would have been grains, fruits, and herbs, being that they, the chosen are herbivores. And it states that they will be in the ships for 150 days, which is five moon cycles, or five months. Verse 38, And the angels of the Lord went to the faithless in God, or the chosen, and inspired them to build ships, both in the valleys and on the mountains. For two whole years builded they them, and then they were complete. Verse 39, And the angel of heaven numbered the ships, and there were of them one hundred and thirty-eight. And the ships stood on the mountains and in the valleys. Nowhere near the waters stood one of all the ships that had been built. So here it states that it took two years for the chosen to build the ships. And the angels of heaven numbered the ships. And the number were one hundred and thirty-eight ships built by the chosen. Now, while the chosen are getting themselves together on earth, in the heavens above Pan, the Etherean gods are making preparations for the sinking of Pan. Now, in the book of Aph, son of Jehovah, chapter 3, verse 16, verse 16 through 20, it states, verse 16, Quickly now, the ships of fire formed in line, extending from my place down to Hades, where rest Neph and his lords of the earth, whose hosts extended to all the divisions of land and waters, embracing the various heavenly kingdoms previously built by the lords. Verse 17. And in the line of Etherean ships were stationed the plateaus of ranks, and the hosts of gods and goddesses took their places according to their rank of wisdom, power, and love manifested in the Etherean departments whence they came, with the two Orion chiefs on either extreme, or at either extreme. So here the Etherean gods and goddesses are arranging themselves over Pan, and these Etherean gods and goddesses are traveling in ships of fire, also called the chariots of God, or chariots of fire, mentioned in the King James Bible. And these Etherean ships of fire are in forms of line surrounding Pan, above in the atmosphere or heavens of Pan. And here is the arrangement and order of the Etherean ships. Verse 18, the state. And I divided the line into sections, each with 250 ships, and there were 1,000 sections. And every ship was contracted 10,000 fold, which was the force required to break the crust of the earth and sink a continent. So here it states the number of Etherean ships being 250 ships for one section. And there are a thousand sections, which is 250,000 Etherean ships above surrounding the continent of Pan. And it also states that every ship contracted 10,000 fold, the force to break the crust of a continent and to sink it. So here are exalted angels or Etherean gods dealing with an advanced and sophisticated technology that is able to sink a continent. And in verse 19 it states, Along the line I stationed sentinels and talesmen and messengers without number so that Jehovah's voice and his son's voice could transverse in a moment of time to every part. And after that, I formed the tube of transit, which extended in front of the ships, and from the earth to beyond Shinvat. And Shinvat is the border of the earth's vortex. And I filled it with the earth's atmosphere to the extreme where the adjoined Losang, where the I determined to deliver the Jujers and the fetals of such as were to perish in the ocean of the earth. So here the Etherean gods are doing more preparation to prepare to sink Pan. And in verse 20 it states, For every ten sections I appointed one hundred marshals and one god. For every ten gods, one chief. 
or one Etherian God, according to their rank in the heavens whence they came, so appointed I them. These then are the chief Etherian gods. Now it was ten Etherian gods that came from various places to bear witness of the sinking of Pan. And verse 21 through 30 gives the names and ranks of these Etherian gods. And out of the ten Etherian gods, six of these were female goddesses. So these ten Etherian gods came to bear witness of the sinking of Pan while the earth travel in the ark of Noah. So here's the breakdown. For every ten sections, you have 100 marshals under one god and 2,500 Etherian ships of fire. For every 100 sections, you have 1,000 marshals and 10 gods under one Etherian god ruling over those 100 sections and 25,000 Etherian ships of fire. For 1,000 sections, which is the sum, you have 10,000 marshals and 100 gods under 10 Etherian gods and goddesses and a total of 250,000 Etherian ships of fire. And this is the rank and order and arrangement of the Etherian ships of fire that was above and surrounding the land of Pan at the appointed time of the flood. So these are the ten Etherian gods overseeing the whole operation of the sinking of Pan. Now in the Lord's first book, chapter 1, verse 40, through 41 it states, verse 40, And the earth stood in the ark of Noah, in the ferment of heaven, in the place and grade of 600 in the Ajain roads, 24,000 years before Cosmos. Verse 41, And the Lord commanded the chosen to go into the ships, and they went in. And in the same day the gates of heaven of the earth were open. So here it states, the position of the earth at the time of the flood being in the ark of Noah, 24,000 years before Cosmon, which is eight ark cycles of 3,000 years from the ark of Cosmon going back to the ark of Noah. And the same day of the sinking of Pan was the chosen commanded to go into the ships they made. So at the time of the flood or sinking of Pan, the people would have bared witness to these Etherian ships of fire that was in the atmosphere or heavens at the time of the flood. And in the book of Ave, son of Jehovah, chapter 6, verse 1 through 8, it gives the sinking of Pan. It states, verse 1, And now Ave, son of Jehovah, said, When the Etherian hosts were arranged in due order, I called out to thee, O Jehovah, saying, In thy strength and wisdom, O Father, Join though the heavens above and the earth below. Verse 2. And the end of the Etherian column that extended to Shinvat. Shinvat is the borders of the earth's vortex. On the borders of the vortex of the earth was made fast by the pressure of the wide heavens. Verse 3. Again I said, in thy strength and wisdom, O Jehovah, join though the heavens above with the earth below. Verse 4. And the end of the Etherian column that extended down to the earth was made fast around the borders of Pan by the sea and the high mountains on the north. Again I said, O Jehovah, deliver though the earth from evil for thy glory forever. In verse 6, And the vortex of the earth closed in from the extreme, and lo, the earth was broken. A mighty continent was cut loose from its fastening, and the fires of the earth came forth in flames and clouds with loud roaring, and the land rocked to and fro like a ship at sea. Verse 7, again I said, O Jehovah, deliver though thy heavens, which are bound as with the chain to the rotten carcass. Verse 8, and again the vortex of the earth closed in about on all sides, and by the pressure the land sank down beneath the water to rise no more, and the Comporeans, or humans, went down to death, and the fetals and familiars gave up their battle. Neither had they whereon to stand, 
nor knew how to go to any place in all the heavens, but were lost and cr-